Hi. Now when God calls you to the mountain, you will find yourself doing crazy things. Things your natural mind says are not wise. Just do them. Much of what you do will hit Satan where it hurts. And when you obey, expect the worms to come out of the woodwork. God will use this to be a blessing to you and the person or peoples involved. Trust him. Blessed is the man who trusts him and leans not on his own understanding. God gave me a definition for this young generation in God's last day's army. This is a way in which they can understand the principles of deliverance. And he has called them brilliant. It is worm puller. There will be many with this gift, but all will be called to it, as Jesus was. We walk his walk. He has shown me their calling will be like souls, sovereign, and their sins will be many. But remember, just wait a second, cinnamon, shush. But remember, Saul had a thorn in his side. This was not infirmity. It was the attacks of Satan. Just look at his testimony. He kept, this kept him humble. It made him wise and the greatest of all the apostles. John the De Baptist was the greatest prophet. And Jesus said this, I think, at the beginning of the book of John, when John's father met the angel in the temple, in the Holy of Holies. He said his son will have the message of Elijah. And then Jesus said that John was the greatest of the prophets. Pretty sure it's prophets. So we have a double portion Elijah mantle. This is John the Baptist as well. So God will educate you on his judgments and his signs to let Satan know Jesus is the greatest son of God. So get ready to preach repentance and make a way for Jesus as John did. Thank goodness we will see his last visit soon as Jesus returns. Right, now this is a poem I got from the Lord as I have had a worm come out of the woodwork. Just as the Lord had said would happen. The poem is called A Poem of Retreat. A fawn in my side. I'm just going to share my thoughts. This is a form of journaling. A recode of a thought. A slight of every moment. A minute of every cage. A rattle of a breeze. A blister on a knee. Proof of life worth lived. If I was to die tomorrow, least the world would not know. Sorry, least the world not know. What to forgive? I lay out my plan, my argument, my dissent. I shot At life, an enormous foot soldier, a mighty feat, a superfluous life, an instant defeat, time is ticking, friend or foe. That's my watch. I heard that tick yesterday morning. 
Wait, stop it. I was sitting in my bed listening to whistling frogs outside my bedroom window. And then I realised it was happening in a very rhythmic way. And I thought, that's not the frogs anymore. And I looked down at my lap and realised it was my watch. I put it to my ear and I could hear it. But I was listening to my watch and it was all the way down at my lap. And I could hear it on my ear as loud as I could hear it on my lap. And then I put my hand back on my lap and I, I couldn't hear it. And I've asked my husband to listen to my watch. And then I've put it the same distance from him and he can't hear it. So after I put my watch back down on my lap in my bed in the morning... Um, the Lord said to me, time is ticking. So I know God has patience, but he's reminding me that the time is now and the time is ticking. That's why we are seeing these things come out of the woodwork. Truth's being exposed, both in your personal life, your circle, your family, and in your nation the world and the global world. So thanks very much. I'm, I'm going to be away for a few days. I'm going back, not up the mountain, but through and past onto the other side of uh, the island I live on, which is where God took me uh, in May. And I'm just returning there for a few days and we'll see if anything exciting happens there. Okay, bye. Keep safe.